Hello and welcome back again with another tech learning series on Ask to Know channel. Meet with Alex experienced help desk technician, calm and knowledgeable. Sarah IT manager, strict but fair. Michael CIO, big picture thinker. Emily junior help desk technician, nervous but eager. James frustrated employee, needs urgent help. Emily's first day of induction. Emily walks into the IT office looking nervous. Alex is at his desk working on multiple tickets. Welcome to the team, Emily. Ready for your first day? Yes, but also a little overwhelmed. Don't worry, we've all been there. Alex here is a pro. He'll show you the ropes. Emily, today you're jumping into real world IT challenges. It's going to be fun. Suddenly multiple calls start coming in. It chaos begins. Employee locked out due to multiple failed password attempts. Solution, manual password reset and self-service password portal. Steps to follow one. Verify user identity. Ask security questions. Two, check Active Directory, AD, logs. Look for locked accounts. Three, unlock and reset password. Generate a temporary one. Four, instruct user to change it immediately. Security first. Five, enable self-service password reset. Teach employees how to do it themselves. Did I do it right? Perfect. One ticket down, a hundred to go. Future fix, enable multi-factor authentication, MFA. Ticket two, the office printer is offline and James is frustrated. Solution, restart the printer and fix spooler service. Follow this steps, Emily. 1. Check power and connections. Basic but effective. 2. Restart the printer. The golden rule of IT. 3. Clear the print queue. Go to Devices and Printers. Right-click Printer. See what's printing. Cancel all jobs. 4. Restart print spooler service. Open run. Win plus R. Type services.msc, comma. Restart print spooler. 5. Update drivers. Download the latest version. Call me if need any help. Done. It's printing now. Thanks, Alex, for your support. Ticket 3. Employees report their systems are lagging. Solution? Optimize system resources and remove unnecessary software. I can do in minutes. 1. Check task manager. Close unnecessary apps. 2. Disable startup programs. Reduce boot time. 3. Run disk cleanup and defrag. Free up space. 4. Scan for malware. Always check for viruses. 5. Upgrade hardware if needed. More RAM equal sign speed boost. Ticket 4. Email stuck in outbox. Solution check internet server settings and mailbox limits. Steps to follow. 1. Check Wi-Fi connection. No internet, no email. 2. Restart Outlook or mail client refresh settings. 3. Verify SMTP and IMAP slash POP. Three settings, common issue. Four, check mailbox storage limit. If full, delete old emails. Five, test with webmail. If webmail works, reset client settings. Call Alex if these steps doesn't work out. Okay, sure, next ticket. Ticket number five, employees can't access office Wi-Fi. Solution, restart the router and check network settings. So Emily jumps into action, channeling her inner tech support ninja. I start with checking if other devices connect to narrow down the issue. 1. Restart the router. A classic IT move. 2. Forget and reconnect to the network. Refresh connection. 3. Check IP configuration. Run ipiconfig slash release and ipiconfig slash renew in command prompt. 4. Look for firewall VPN issues. Sometimes security settings block Wi-Fi. Ticket 6. Employees can't access shared folders. Solution. Check permissions and network settings. I will try to solve this by doing these set TPs. 1. Ensure the network drive is mapped. Check File Explorer. 2. Verify user permissions. It must check access rights. 3. Reconnect the drive. Use NetUse X server folder. 4. Restart the workstation service fixes common issues. 5. Check for VPN interference. Sometimes VPN blocks access. Great, it is working. Some of the help desk interview questions and answers. How do you handle a frustrated user? Answer is stay calm, listen, acknowledge frustration, provide a solution. 
What's your troubleshooting process for network issues? Answer is use ping, tracer, IP config, and check router settings. How do you prioritize IT tickets? Answer should be based on urgency, business impact, and SLAs. What do you do if a computer won't boot? Answer should be check power, safe mode, bio settings, and run diagnostics. What's your response to a system outage? Answer will be alert stakeholders, diagnose, fix, and document for future prevention. Emily, that was a trial by fire, but you did great. This was wild. I think I just survived my first real IT battle. And guess what? Tomorrow will be even more exciting. Have you ever faced an IT nightmare? Share your craziest help desk experience in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more IT adventures on Ask to Know channel. Learn with the difference.